Well, greetings everybody. Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Trap. This is a spot that I've been wanting to get into. Massive uh, giving geologically, but a landslide. Some place you do not, never. If you come across something like this, don't be getting yourself underneath any of that. I don't care what the water's doing. Don't be stupid. We are going down beyond it on the inside. Well, it'll be the inside bend the over just beyond it. So, and I have with me today Heath Dottie. <laughs> so we're gonna get down there and do a little bit of running. It's a late start in the day. We had to hike in, so don't know how much we'll get done, but we'll show you what we get. Back in a bit. All right. So Heath is way over there. The water was just a little bit too deep for him to cross with his boots. And I didn't want to go too far away from him, so he found me a setup. I mean, I'm still going to be in the, uh, in the zone of gold dropping out. I got a lot of big boulders here and debris, big boulders right here. But I got me an awesome setup right here. And literally digging right here right behind these big boulders. So this should be pretty good. When I was picking up rocks and prepping the area to start digging, I was seeing some pretty good, look like coarse black sand. We'll find out when it pan it out. But. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep digging here and I'll let you know what we get back in a bit. All right, I've punched a pretty good sized hole here, but Many of you who've been watching the channel for a while have heard me say this before, but for those of you who are new, I'm gonna say it again and remind everybody else who has heard me say it, this is springtime, okay? It doesn't matter what time of year it is, I do this religiously, but I pick a rock in the river and I keep an eye on it, even if it's a nice day, because you never know what it's doing way the hell up river. It could be storming heavy, you, know, you don't know. And of course, this time of year, you've got snow melt. Right now it's about 60 degrees, so the snow is melting. So I've been watching. That little rock is sticking up out of the water right there. And I've been watching the water level rise. So I had to cross the river to get over here, obviously. And the water, there's a lot of pressure, <laughs> a lot of force. So I'm not gonna be sticking over here very much longer because I've gotta cross back over. And uh, it's just something you need, to, you need to take into consideration anytime you gotta cross a river. But uh, just wanted to shoot that out there. So run quite a bit of material. I did one test pan after I got it down just so far. And there was a, a pretty good sized piece in there, plus 50. 50 mesh, over 50 mesh. So, be cleaning this out pretty quick. And I forgot my tripod, so I would have set it up on that rock right there so you could see me do a little bit. But, I'm not gonna risk getting this camera dumped in the water. <laughs> so once I do a clean out, I'll show you. Back in a bit. All right, so I wasn't wasting any more time. I'm back across with Heath. He's got a decent little setup with his 23 inch pastry streak finder going on right here. Excellent flow. Nice job, Heath. Good job. Good job. So what I did was I didn't even bother panning it back over there. I just took some of it off and sucked it up in this nice little Reinhardt dredge that I got from Railroad Toys and Hobbies. I keep telling y'all you need to go there and check them out on Facebook because you can order stuff online. But anyway, as I said, it's pretty coarse black sand over on this side of the river. It's pretty fine, but this is uh, pretty coarse stuff. So I'm going to finish panning this back and see what we got. Well, folks, I'm quite shocked to say the least. I figured there'd be a whole lot more than that. And it's so small, you're not going to be able to see it. But I got about five pieces out of that. So... There might be flowers still left in there, which I'm keeping. But anyway, 
I'm gonna do some panning over here and see what I can come up with. <laughs> this is a major inside bend, so we shall see. All right, so he doesn't have a snuffer bottle. I forgot mine, so we managed to get his gold. He got about 15, 16 pieces. We managed to get it inside, <laughs> inside that little drink bottle. So it's a good thing I had this Reinhardt dredging me to suck up my concentrates. But anyway, um, I didn't find any more. It's not too long after I shot last. We're gonna hike on out of here. It's a bit of a hike, so. But it was fun getting out here. Great hanging out with Heath. And uh, good to get down here finally and see this. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everybody.